Now I'm going to spend some time focusing on connecting fiber channel storage off the ZFS storage appliance to VMware. The first thing you do when uh, you want to configure fiber channel is you click on configuration, go to the SAN tab. Uh, this is a clustered array. Uh, all your fiber channel ports show up here. You can see I have uh, a couple different uh, that's actually the initiators. Here's my two ports. I have a single card. Uh, this is a clustered box, and so over on the other controller, if I click over there, I can see I have two cards here. I have two ports there, single card, and then two ports here, eight gigabit per second. And what I do is I put both of those into what's called a target group. Uh, in this case, it's called target zero. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you could have multiple cards and multiple target groups if you wanted to segregate. Uh, storage being exported out over a fiber channel. So here you can see here's these two ports so PCIe 9 port 1 and port 2 and then over on the other controller uh, HeyDupe node B, this is node A, he has PCI 9 ports 1 and 2 as well so those are both in there so that allows us to do uh, a Lua uh, or multi-pathing and standby all that kind of good stuff that you want so you have high availability if you were to lose controller A uh, and everything would be failed over to the other controller and the lens would continue to work over there. Uh, so that's the first thing you do. Once you do that, you would then want to zone in the ports for each, all four of these, uh, in a zone on your switch, along with whatever the uh, ports are of the ESX server. So when you do that, it actually shows up here. It'll say, all right, we see four ports. So here's the four ports from my two um, ESX servers. I have two virtual NICs on each one, so let me show you that. So here's one of my ESX servers. It has two HBAs. There's his worldwide port numbers. Here's my other ESX server, and he has the same two different HBAs. So we come back over here. We have those. I can put in some aliases so they make a little bit more sense so I know exactly what they are. You just do that once, and those are set up. Then I can click on the initiators and all those show up here. I then drag the initiators into an initiator group. The initiator group is how I do my LUN masking. So I want all the SX uh, HBAs to all see all the ports to all see. In my case, I have four ports, two servers, and I want them all to see the same exact LUNs. At that point, I can uh, click here and I can easily add a LUN if I want to here, or I can go over to the Shares tab and you can see here I can click on LUNs and there's already one LUN in here, a 200 gig, uh, which if we go over to the SX servers, you can see right here, it sees that there. If I click on pass, it automatically sees the four pass. So two active on the controller it's on and also sees a two standby pass on the secondary controller. Um, so to add additional storage, uh, additional LUNs, I would just click the plus and we'll call it Demo FC1. Uh, let's make it a uh, 150 gigabytes. Then provisioned, let's just call it 64K. Um, and then we'll pick what target group we want to be exported out of and also what initiator group. So those are the two different groups. We'll hit apply. That one's created. And now if I go back over here to my ESX servers and I just say rescan all. And so now it'll take a minute and there it is. It shows up the other disk, 150 gigabytes. I could do the same thing on the other ESX server. Rescan all. And there it is. So now at this point, I can go into either of the SX servers and I can go in and create a new data store disk. I can choose uh, which one of these ones I want. So there's the fiber channel disk. I want to create a new. Uh, the one that's available, the other one's already a pool. So I could go in here and create a new data store based on this guy. It's all set. 
the other thing I could do is go into the existing FC data store, which is already using uh, the 200 gig fiber channel disk. So I could add to this guy by clicking the increase button, and there you see it shows me the fiber channel disk. Next, I can add it into that group as well, so that's another option you have. Uh, you can also grow the LUNs themselves pretty easily. So I could go into the ZFS array, uh, go to this 200 gig LUN, and I'm going to make it 300 gigabytes. Hit apply. Go back over here to my storage adapters. And let's rescan these guys. Sure enough, it shows up as 300 gig. I will do the same thing on this one. And now it sees that as 300 gigabytes. Then I can go into the actual data store itself. And we'll choose the 300 gig disk because we grew that one. We want to use the same one. And it's going to use all the existing space. We'll maximize it. All 100 gigs of the 100 gig available. Hit close. And now our new um, fiber channel based data store is now 300 gigabytes. So that is how you set up Fiber Channel in a VMware environment with the ZFS storage appliance. Thank you so much.